Hey, what's going on everybody? I am here joined by Shauna and Megan. And Shauna is a functional bodybuilding coach. She has been for as long as there have been coaches, over six years. And Megan has been my wife for over six years. So here we go. I've got the team back together. We're gonna to be hitting a minimalist workout, persist minimalist. So if you're coming up on the holidays and you don't have access to a ton of equipment, yes, we're surrounded by the most beautiful, well-equipped gym that you could ever ask for, but we're gonna show you how to get a great workout in with just some dumbbells, maybe a couple uh, cardio implements like a jump rope, a pull-up bar, but I'll also offer up some options for you that are body weight, and we're gonna show you how to get a great workout without much at hand. Stay tuned. Hey, this video is brought to you today by my friends at Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. Element was formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited to folks following keto, low carb, or paleo diets. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium per packet. The perfect ratio I have found for me. What I love the most is that there's no junk, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. As a member of our community, Element has a very special offer for you. You can claim your free Element sample pack simply by going over to the website, drinkelement.com forward slash Marcus Philly to get yours. And if you're wondering what my favorite flavor is, raspberry salt mixed with some ice water is delicious. I hope you enjoy. Always as part of the warm up, we're gonna try and get some blood flow with a cardio tool and then work on some range of motion and stability. So this is a great range of motion work, excuse me, movement for the thoracic spine, the shoulders, and you don't need any weight for this one. Make sure you got your hips and your knees at 90 degrees, the way mine are, which kind of locks the low back into place so you're not getting any rotation at the lumbar spine and then everything from a rotations and mobility standpoint is coming in the upper back, the th thoracic spine. Okay, for the next one, I grabbed a five pound weight plate but maybe you've got like a can of corn or a can of beans or something in your pantry or anything that's just about a few pounds. We're gonna just perform this side plank power raise. Again, great for the rear delts, the shoulders, warming up the upper back, rhomboids. We got a big upper back, excuse me, upper body day coming today. So good movements to get some mobility and some stability, uh, warm up the shoulders. If you're traveling, um, or you can't get to the gym because um, you've got family obligations and you got to be at home. I think that they're just like, you know, a way to get in a workout really quickly and you get a lot of benefit from them. I just know from my own experience of kind of going through a phase where I wasn't training as much and thinking like, oh, I need to get in an hour and a half to make it beneficial. It's like, no, you don't. You could get in a quick 40 minutes or with minimal equipment and you get a great workout. Okay, and last thing, I just was mentioning that these are great workouts for if you don't have a lot of equipment, but they're also great workouts if you find yourself in a hotel gym. Oftentimes you get into a hotel gym, there's a lot of machines, and I'm thinking, how do I get a great functional workout in? Well, Persist Minimalist is gonna allow you to get a great workout in just using the dumbbells that only go up to 30 pounds. You're gonna get a great workout, you don't need a lot, and always these hotel gyms have that kind of equipment available. So you can jump on a cardio machine there like an elliptical or a treadmill, or you don't have access to that, do shuttle runs like I'm doing. So we just wrapped up just a general warm up, a warm up that's gonna again prep our, our bodies. Like, let's just imagine you just arrived at the gym, you haven't done anything, you were sitting down all day, you were traveling, maybe you just woke up, uh, you need to kind of arrive. So a little blood flow, a little cardio, a couple like mobility and stability drills are really great to get you there. 
Now we're ready for training. And because we're using minimal equipment, when you go to train, typically you might get into your strength training now, but you know, we're not gonna be able to lift super heavy because we only got access to so many dumbbells. So instead, what we're gonna do is something called a hot start. And a hot start is essentially conditioning work at the beginning of training that really ramps up the nervous system. It gets you sweating, it gets you breathing, and it's gonna pre-fatigue the body. So when we go to do our strength work, we can even get a great training stimulus with lighter weight. So hot start's about to happen. We're gonna do four rounds and you'll see what that looks like in a moment. it down I'm so sorry I'll explain the strength piece better but super set of alternating Z press eight per arm then pull up strict pull up two one X one tempo AMRAP if you drop below five reps, on the next set, grab a, a red band. Four sets of each, 60 seconds rest in between. So this pairs with the hot start we just did. We got warmed up and then hot start strength, covers our intensity for the day. Then we're gonna go after that into some sustainable conditioning work, breathing, and some you know body weight movement, some general, overall weight, weighted movements. incredibly proud of my wife for being able to do strict pull-ups as strong as she can but she started to drop below she'll drop below five reps on the next couple sets because we all get fatigued so grab a band and then if you don't have a band I'll show you something else to do after she's done with this set Okay, just in case you don't have a band and you're starting to see your pull-ups fatigue, Megs is gonna show us some negatives. Great tool if you don't have strict pull-ups, if you're trying to build them up, a great thing to substitute into this workout. She's basically gonna jump herself up to, up to the top of the pull-up bar. I can't quite jump on there. There you go. You got that step. Oh. She's gonna use a step. So you would just find a step in the gym, a box, a bench, and then she's gonna help assist herself all the way to the top and then lower slowly down to the bottom. She's gonna do slow reps all the way to the bottom for five reps. Do so I just start up here? Yeah. Good, and then back up. Now, since Megan is really strong already at pull-ups, she can even go slower on the way down. I'm gonna count six seconds from the top to bottom. Here we go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Should do it again. If you're really strong, you should be doing strict pulls for this workout, but imagine that you don't have them yet or you're very fatigued. Even three to five seconds on the way down for five reps would be super tough. And it'd be a great way to get in that pull-up strength if you don't have a band or you don't have one of those pull-up machines that assists you on the way up. Yeah, it's time to work on our sustainable conditioning. So kind of the first half of the workout was hot start strength. The second half of the workout is conditioning. And for conditioning, we're gonna have a mixture of sort of body weight movements, a couple dumbbell movements, and then some core movements. And we're just gonna do eight, eight minute circuits where we just move continuously. And then we'll take a short break and then do another eight minute circuit, move continuously. 